you know, people today, they want things to be pretty fast, simple, um, you know, they're not going to put in a lot of effort. They want it to just be like immediately available. And, and that's kind of all because of the internet and everything being right at our fingertips, right? I'm Nick Carpenter with Legion of Loan Officers. Today we're talking about how, you know, what do consumers find when they look you up online? And is that, are those results enough to actually hire you, right? So um, it's, it's definitely something to consider. Uh, I'm not going to share my screen. I'm not going to share my screen right now. But, but what I want you to do is, if you're watching this video, I want you to, to go to Google and I want you to search a couple different things for yourself. Number one, I want you to search the phrase, your name, loan officer, or, and then also search the phrase, your name, mortgage broker. Because I think in general, if people don't know you and somebody says like, oh, you gotta check out Nick Carpenter, you know, if I'm a loan officer, that's what they're gonna do, right? They're gonna go, Nick Carpenter, loan officer or Nick Carpenter Mortgage Broker. That's the kind of phrase that they're gonna search. And so, you know, you wanna make sure that your stuff is showing up for that phrase. Um, yesterday, I looked up a guy that, you know, I was doing a training call with some people yesterday, and his Google Maps listing doesn't show up for his name loan officer. It only shows up if you type like, his name at the mortgage company that he's at. And most people aren't gonna know what mortgage company you're at, right? They're just gonna have your name. So we want to make sure that that's, that that's happening. So, so you should do that, right? Go and search your own name, loan officer, your name, mortgage broker, and see what the results show. Um, because look, it, this is all consumers are doing, right? Is somebody at their work said, oh, you got to check out Nick Carpenter. And then they go and Google Nick Carpenter or Nick Carpenter loan officer or Nick Carpenter mortgage broker. Um, I don't know, what phrase do you think the public uses the most? Loan officer or mortgage broker? Or I guess maybe mortgage advisor. Sometimes people try to use that. Um, I tend to think people just think that they're all, we're all mortgage brokers. I don't know for sure, but that's, that's my best guess is mortgage broker probably gets used more than loan officer. So I think you should be ranking for those, those phrases. So you, you got to just check. You got to be looking up yourself, right? I mean, l leave a comment on this video and let me know when is the last time you, Google, you Googled yourself and see what the results show, right? When's the last time you did that? Because odds are you haven't done it in a really long time, but yet you expect the results that you don't even know what they are to get you a client, right? It's like you, you got to figure out what the results are and see would that, would that make somebody have enough trust and likability to, to actually hire you. Um, so do your own discernment on that. Maybe have some other people do it as well. Hey man, can you go search this and like take a screenshot and show me whatever the results come up as? Um, of course you wanna make sure that your Google Maps listing is showing up. If you don't have your business on Google Maps with reviews and where it's showing up there and showing you the reviews right away, I think you're missing, you're missing an opportunity to have a lot of proof right up front. If you wanna see what I mean, go and Google Legion of Loan Officers if you Google Legion of Loan Officers, you're going to see like over a hundred reviews, over a hundred five-star reviews, and don't forget about the one one-star review, and, but over a hundred five-star reviews from people that were willing to publicly tell their story about working with me. Um, are your clients doing the same thing for you? So you got to look at that. Um, are your social profiles showing up? What, what websites are linking? And if those websites can have reviews, do they have reviews, right? This is all stuff you want to check out. So um, if you need, if you, you know, I'd, I'd be happy to maybe, I don't know, I can make another little video and, you know, do a couple of audits. So I guess leave a link if you want me to audit, you know, leave, leave a comment if you want me to audit your channel or not your channel, but the way you're showing up on Google. And maybe I'll come back and make a video in a couple days and I'll um, audit, I'll audit a few different people. And I'll show you some specific examples of, what you can do to improve your results if people are Googling, people are Googling you and figuring out if they want to work with you because it's super important. So put it on, you know, have some kind of schedule where with some regularity, maybe once a month or every couple months or whatever, you're going to Google and you're checking yourself out and seeing what are the results? Are you happy with the results? Is it what you expect? Is there something showing up you didn't expect or that you need to fix? Um, this is especially true if you ever move companies because you got to get all that old data, you got to get all that old data moved over, right? So 
Um, anyways, how you show up on Google ultimately, these people who are searching around on Google, I like to call them ghost clients. You don't really know they exist. Um, and if they decide to not contact you, you'll never know they exist. Or if they decide to contact you, that's when you finally find out about them. But all of that, that decision-making process is occurring based on the results they find out about you when they Google you. So make sure that the, those results are what you want it to be. And uh, yeah, if you need any help with this kind of stuff, you know, be happy to work with you. So just check out some options down in the description below. And I uh, hope you're having a good one. See ya.